Maybe June, but it's almost time to get a jump on Christmas. <laughs> really, the immersive holiday light display landscape lightscape is going to be returning. Oh, so pretty at the San Antonio Botanical Gardens. And this is going to happen for this year's holiday season. It better be colder come Christmas. Makes hmm. it a little chillier looking at those yeah. people in coats. The officials with the Botanical Gardens said the popular towering cathedral arch tunnel will be back this year and feature installations that haven't been seen here in San Antonio. Tickets on the hugely popular event are going on sale. Garden members can grab their tickets starting at 10 a.m. on Friday and the general public can get theirs at 10 a.m. on Monday, June 13th. It'll run from November 11th through January 8th. For all the details, get your ticket prices and parking, you can head to our website, ksat.com. Just our little effort to make you feel a little cooler. Thank cold thoughts. Cold thoughts. Uh, 102 today, 101 Thursday. By the way, we're already up to 92, so we're well on our way. Uh, 102 Friday, Saturday looks to be our hottest day, 104. But look, uh, every single day is going to be hot. Uh, probably a little more humidity as we get into next week, guys. Mm. Ouch. So what animal from the zoo would you cuddle with? I thought that was a good question for Mike. What would you cuddle well, with? I would love to cuddle with one of their leopards. Have you seen those beautiful yeah. leopards they have? I don't think that would work. I don't think so. And a koala bear would be, looks cuddly, but they're like mean, aren't they? Yeah. So I, I have no idea. I think they bite. <laughs> we'll find out, because I say live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Hello and happy Wednesday while our summer camp week continues and Pete is out there cutting a rug with rhinoceros out there at a camp for young animal lovers at the San Antonio Zoo. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Mike Osterhage. Well, I'm holding down the fort here. She's out there at the zoo. Good afternoon, Fiona. What's going on? How are you? <laughs> I need a breather, actually, after that dancing. But yes, we are checking out, of course, the summer camps here at the zoo. And we've got one going on behind us right now that is about misunderstood animals. And that kind of got us thinking, you know, would you rather cuddle a raccoon or a possum? Which one would you rather cuddle? Well, I always feel like raccoons are kind of up to something. They're kind of dressed for that occasion, you know? So I would go with possum. Um, all right, I'd have to say a raccoon, I guess. You know, the little tiny ones and the little mask hey. on them, you know, kind of, kind of cute looking and everything like that. So, that's because yes, um, yes, yes. so you're always what, up to something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're always up to something. So, yeah, we want to know what you would want to cuddle with, so let us know. And we're going to learn more about that camp coming up there in uh, just a couple of minutes. But first of all, we are talking peaches. And if you love those Fredericksburg peaches, but, you know, you can't make the trip all the way up into the hill country this weekend. Guess what? All that sweet summer flavor is coming right here to San Antonio and right on camera. Ooh, look at those beautiful, delectable peaches, a little Ooh, bit of bourbon on top of that. Chef Leo Gary from Eat Fredericksburg, Texas is here to give us a tasty preview of Fredericksburg Peach Fest. Right. Good afternoon. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, same to see you. Same right. Great to see you. I think always. everybody loves when you hear about Fredericksburg peaches. We have the best peaches. Yeah, okay. totally. And it's a pleasure to, when we do have them to make whatever we can with them. So we're making a uh, peach bourbon mm -hmm. sundae. So we're starting off with some uh, peaches in our Fredericksburg cast iron pan and you're just putting a nice sear on them. All right, and, and that was, it, what, to add, it's like grilling peaches, right? It adds, right. Instead of grilling the them, a little bit. Yeah, I like to do it on cast iron because the peach doesn't stick to the grill. Um, you get more flavor, more flat surface on the pan, so you get more color, more flavor. And then you're making the sauce in there as well, so it's, everything that, stays in the same exactly, pan, Exactly, right? and the peaches just absorb it. And, of course, we're using Fredericksburg bourbon, and don't forget, yeah. if you're making this for the kids, alcohol does burn off when you put it in a hot pan right. like that. So it just Unless for us adults, we'll put a little bit more in it towards the end. We'll talk more about that yeah. later Ooh. on. So, so, and this is very simple to do, just a little bit of that bourbon, it's yep. going to reduce down mm -hmm. and then sprinkle some sugar yep. in there. And just put the sugar. And just all around, That's and this it. is just going to form all of it? Yep. Okay. Oh, why not? Okay. Sure. What the heck? Yeah. So, all right. And you said uh, that's going to help out even if the, the peaches may not be at their premium ripeness, that little extra sweetness in there, right? Right. Exactly. And it just goes well with the color. It creates more of a, a syrup texture to mm -hmm. the to the peach for the sauce. Okay. So and we can just it. let that sit in there yep. for a minute. We and let it sit. Okay. And um, you start you start seeing it bubble up a little bit. Um, you can mix it around. Here's a little spoon or oh, fork. Okay. You can use that little cocktail just spoon. And that's just, it. Oh, okay. you might. And there just, you go. And that's as simple as that. It's simple. That's simple. And, and then, then we're putting it over a little bit of uh, gelato? Yeah. Yeah. We have some Oro Bianco. Um, okay. This is gelato that they make. Um, 
in Blanco, Texas. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna get a bowl here, scoop it in. Uh, this stuff is amazing, made with, uh, water, with buffalo. And then we can just kind of take a couple of these yeah, and... Put all of it. Okay, we'll, we'll just do this like this. Buddy. So, yeah. Okay, so we are talking about Fredericksburg. Oh, let me get that baby in there, yeah. right like that. I'll just do those Perfect. a couple of right now. Yep, awesome. And that is off. However, you know, it's going to take a lot of peaches at Peach Fest going on here. And, right. you know, what we should look for when we are buying peaches because we have peach experts that are going to be here in town. And Sean Dory, who is the communications manager for Fredericksburg Convention and Visitors Bureau, is here with a little Peach 101. So y'all are bringing the peaches down into town, right? That's right. If you can't make it out to Fredericksburg, Saturday is your opportunity to get some fresh peaches. Uh, 11 to 6 p.m. at the shops at Lock and Terra. Okay, now, big question is, how do you pick the perfect peach? <sighs> Everyone's different, right? Taste is, taste is in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. um, good news is, we have peach producers from the Hill Country Fruit Council who will be here on Saturday and can help you pick the perfect peach. Okay, say that three times fast, <laughs> I like the alliteration right there. So, all right, big question right. is though, was it a good peach season? It's getting there. It's going okay. to be a great peach season. We had uh, we needed a little more rain, but that has just delayed things a little bit. So running two to three weeks behind, but the peaches are really small this year, but they're also very sweet. So okay. as yeah. Chef Leo said, they will make the perfect complement to any dish you're making. Right, and, and sugars intensify with less water, so you have more sugars in your peach. Okay, so goodness is packed into a, exactly. a small, small little bite. package yeah. right there. So what are we making yeah. over here? Uh, we're making a uh, peach bellini. So we're using, of course, Burke's Corners. Um, they're in Stonewall. They're fresh peaches, make a puree, a puree with a little bit of uh, peaches and vodka that we also is local, mm -hmm. um, Salvation Spirits. And then um, we're just putting a little bit of pet nut from William Chris, which is a uh, sparkling peach and grape wine. And just makes for a perfect, refreshing summer drink, especially okay. since it's so hot. Now, we always think of peaches in Fredericksburg and some of the bourbon, some of the uh, other bubblies yeah. there. But there's a lot more Fredericksburg-produced items, right, that are going to be at the Peach Fest. That's right. We're bringing live music from Luckenbach, Texas. We're bringing mm -hmm. wine from local wineries in Fredericksburg. Uh, Chef Leo mentioned William Chris. We're also... Fredericksburg Farms will be there with some of their peach salsas, peach lotions, and peach soaps. Um, and Fredericksburg Pecan Company will have uh, good pecans on hand on Saturday as well. Okay, so you could just kind of uh, meander around there at Lock and Terra, shop a little bit, and taste a nice little thing. It's a great way to not have to make that, that trip up there. So. Well, but if you do want to make the trip okay. up there, we're going to be there with the Convention and Visitor Bureau helping you plan your next trip to Fredericksburg as well. Because it is a great place to go to, and there's a lot going on mm -hmm. up there. So don't forget, the Fredericksburg Peach Fest is happening this Saturday, the 11th, 11 a.m., 6 p.m. up there at the shop at Lock and Terra. Come and enjoy a day of all things peaches and Fredericksburg. And for more information, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We got a cheers, though, to Fredericksburg and all the uh, the peaches there. For Gentlemen, sure. mm, salute. Cheers. Ooh, that is tasty. Can't wait to try that dessert. All right. Like we said before, it is our summer camp week, and today we are learning about an incredible experience for young animal lovers, and there are a few places in town where they can get up close and really personal with these wild creatures, and Fiona is out there at the zoo learning more about all these misunderstood animals. What's going on? I'm telling you, Mike, you gotta get ready for a wild summer here at the San Antonio Zoo. Kyle Perez, Director of Public Relations, joins me, and right now we have one of those summer camps going on behind us, right, Kyle? Oh yeah, they are right behind us in their natural habitat, mm -hmm. and we are seeing them learn here at Zoo Camp. It is a fun time every time you come to Zoo Camp, or to the zoo in general, and they are learning about the wild things that are misunderstood here at this camp. Okay, so this is the Twisted Tales Summer Camp, right? Yes. Okay, so they are learning right now about what? So right now we're talking about the corn snake, because corn snakes are here in Texas, so they're freaky, they're snakely, they're scaly, so we might not like them, but why should we like them? Because they take care of a lot of the mice out in the wilderness. And that's what we're learning about here too, is where we shouldn't just misunderstand these animals, that they actually serve a purpose here at Texas. 
And this is just one of many zoo camps that kids are participating in over the summer, right? Absolutely. So we are also doing our wild careers, which is sixth to eighth graders. We have kinder through five and six through eight. And in wild careers, we talk to zoo crew members, whether it's marketing, whether it's animal care specialists, they all teach you on what they do every single day here at San Antonio Zoo. And some of it is preparing food for the animals or seeing really exclusive things that not everybody gets to see. And so, you know, these camps, you know, they are sold out for this summer, but you know, what? when do parents need to sign up by if they wanna do this, say, next summer for their kids? Absolutely, so early spring, we encourage everyone to get registered early spring because it is a very popular thing. As you can imagine, San Antonio Zoo is a wild adventure every time you come, and so it is a very popular thing to come to our zoo camps and truly experience all the fun nature that exists around us and all the fun wildlife as well. So I suggest that people start out early spring. Okay, and any upcoming events that folks need to know about? Absolutely, so we also have camps during the fall for any like school breaks. So you can still register for those, but fun events happening here, we're during our summer attraction, which is Planet Earth Deep Sea Adventures, which is happening across the zoo, which is a cool way to experience the zoo in a whole new way. And so the drive-through experience, there's a little bit of change with that. Tell me what that is. Yes, so we went on discounted tickets right now because we realize how hot it can be out there for some of us. And so you can now experience the zoo with a drive-through. So you can drive through the zoo, blast your AC, have some nachos, some cotton candy, maybe a Powerade, and just enjoy the animals from the comfort of your car. And now it is discounted tickets, so go to sazoo.org so that you can get it as cheap as you can. Almost kind of like going to a drive-in movie, except you get to drive through the zoo, right? <laughs> Absolutely, yep. And now with Neotropica open, you go underneath the Jaguar, so Ooh. it's even cooler. If you've got that sunroof, that's a whole new experience right there. <laughs> totally. And so uh, besides the camps, of course, folks can come out and enjoy the zoo and they can have those interactive experience with some animals, right? Like what? Absolutely. So camps have camp exclusives. Mm -hmm. so, so there are some special things for camps specifically. Mm -hmm. But if you just want to come to visit the zoo, you can still have behind the scenes experiences like feeding a hippo, feeding a flamingo, feeding a giraffe, or even getting to give some touchies to a rhino. It truly is an amazing and zoo-unique experience every time you come to San Antonio Zoo, and you'll leave loving animals even more, and that's our whole goal here, is so that you get to engage with them and truly help us secure a future for wildlife. I love that. Okay, so once again, let's remind folks that these summer camps here are sold out, and remember, if you want to sign up for next year, you got to start in the spring, but there are camps coming up in the fall, right? Mm -hmm. that you can start signing up for when? You can start, I believe it's in July, in July. but check out so essays.org, start watching. Okay, all right, and for all that information, all you have to do is head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. And don't forget, coming up, we are gonna show you the newest uh, interactive uh, exhibit here at the zoo, so stick around for that. Mike? That's so fantastic, it was fascinating, and so much to do there at the zoo this summer. Thank you very much. All right, we'll see you in just a couple of minutes. All right, still ahead on SA Live, add a little color to your summer where you can find these fun accessories and the event that will have even more cute and colorful items. Plus, professional football is back in the Alamo City where you and your family can catch the game this weekend. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But first, another terrific camp where you can help your little putter become the next Tiger Woods. Check it out next on SA Live. Well, you know, sports are more than just uh, hitting a ball, like these kids are doing a fantastic job hitting or catching a ball, but you can learn some really important life lessons, and that's what's being taught at that golf camp that you just saw out there right by the San Antonio Zoo. I visited the other day, so take a look. This is a very special golf program out here. First tee of San Antonio and Chief Executive Officer Kerry Kimball is joining us now. So, okay, first of all, this is the cutest thing in the world, seeing all these, I mean, not only teens, but the little ones out here playing golf. Yes, we're trying to get kids of all ages interested in the game. It's a lifelong sport and our programs help us do that and these kids get to play it forever. Okay, golf, yes, it is a lifelong sport. It's fun, it can be frustrating, all that, but there's a lot more going on here than just trying to get them to be able to, to hit pop. Right, so First Tee is a youth development organization that teaches kids nine core values through the game of golf. 
And it, when you're younger, you're a little kid, we kind of instill those nine core values into you. And when you get up to this age, we start doing more community service projects, mentorship, giving back to the community, and you have to maintain an AB honor roll average to be in our program. So as they go through the program, the uh, life skills become more applicable as they get older. I heard with the little ones, the coaches were saying, don't forget CHIP. Right. And what does CHIP stand for? So our tiny tigers, which are our five to seven, seven year olds, we have CHIP, this little tiger. Uh, courtesy, honesty, integrity, and perseverance. So those are four of our nine core values. So we get them interested in the game from five to seven, and then seven starts our actual program. Okay, the one little guy, and this is just like any of us that ever played golf, you know, this is it. And the coach was like, uh-oh, that was not good. It was courtesy. No, that's perseverance. What's courtesy? Be nice, right? Be nice. Were you nice to your golf club just now when you threw it on the ground? Okay, so grab the golf club from Coach Charlotte, get one ball, go around the ball and hit it. Go. Oh. What part of Chip did that mean when he hit his club? Courtesy, so he wasn't being very nice to his club. And then perseverance because he was he was he was frustrated and then he just kept going get, getting through it okay and again this is not just for the golf course right it's take throughout life whether right. they pick up another a golf club tomorrow or not right we really don't want the kids to be we're not focused on them being good golfers but as much as we're focused on them being good people and so through our program you know golf is a lot of life parallels right i mean sometimes you get a great shot and you get a bad break and sometimes you hit a bad shot and get a good break so I think for our program, we try to instill that in them, that you know, life sometimes has challenges, but you can get through it through the program that we're developing for them. A lot of times you think of team sports like baseball, you know, working with other people, uh, you know, it, it takes the whole team to do it. Is the same thing going on here with golf, even though it's more of an individual sport? You know, we do have that. I mean, we have the kids, they're all helping each other out. You know, we kind of try to create a community with our kids. That, you know, they build friendships here, they build relationships. The game of golf also warms that as well. But it is an individual sport. So you're out there, you're calling your own penalties. You know, you, you have to be honest with yourself. You know, you're out there by yourself, but then also you can still develop friends that are out here for a lifetime. Who's it open to? It's open to everybody. No child's turned away from financial need. We have scholarships available, so if that's something that interests you, we provide equipment, all the clubs, so there's really no barriers to entry to getting into golf. Everyone thinks it's expensive, but I think we do a really good job of making sure that we make it available to everyone that wants to try it. All right, and this is going to be going on throughout the rest of the summer? Correct. We have seven weeks of golf camp, five days a week, Monday through Friday, 9 to 12. The last day they actually get to go play on a golf course and have a pizza party. Fantastic. Any, uh, you know, pro golfers that you're, you're seeing here? We do have pro golfers that help us out. Abe Answers helped us out in the past. Jimmy yeah, Walker, yeah. Roberto Diaz is on the Corn Ferry Tour. So we're, uh, San Antonio is actually a mecca of professional golfers, so we're lucky to have them help out. How about the little ones? Anybody going to be on pro tour, you think? No, you just never know. We, we, we try to give them the tools, but, you know, we also give them the tools to know that they're the plan B. Thanks, Mike, for coming out. Sure. Okay, watching those little kids was just the cutest thing in the world. And if you recognize where it is, of course, that's the Brackenridge Driving Range right out there, right off Mulberry, just right around the corner from the zoo. And like she said, no one is turned away. There's going to be camps going on all summer long. And uh, those kids have a lot of fun. So, uh, so go check it out over there. So, And thank you very much to everybody over there at the First Tee. Okay. Still ahead on SA Live, looking for that perfect gift for dad. Don't forget, Father's Day is a week from Sunday. Uh, local shops have something for everyone. We're checking out some great gifts for Father's Day. But next, Arena Football is back in San Antonio. When and where you can catch the action, how you can get free tickets. You don't want to miss this. The quarterback and the coach are here. That's straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, professional arena football is back in the Alamo City, and there's a big game this weekend. The San Antonio Gunslingers, powered by John Wayne Service Company, are getting the word out and everything you need to know. Joining us today, we are honored to have Coach Fred Shaw and quarterback Robert Kent. Gentlemen, thank, thank you so much for being here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Coach, for somebody that has never seen arena football, describe it. So arena football, man, it's fast paced. You know, it's uh, no other game like it, man. Uh, the fans can literally reach out and just touch the uh, the players as the game's going on. And 
man, it's just you just got to come, you know, see it live, you know, to to really get the full effect. Because there's basically no sidelines, right? I mean, the 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 walls. The wall is the yes. sideline. Yes, the walls are the sidelines. So, so it's almost like football and what hockey, hockey. To, yes. together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All right. it's a combination. Yeah, what can fans expect? Uh, like I said, it's a fun, family-friendly atmosphere. If a ball goes in the stand, you get to keep it. You know, if really? NFL, NFL balls don't go into the stands. So just, just to put that out there, you know. Balls go in the stands, you get to keep it. The players come to the sideline. They fall over the wall. They fall in your lap. You can't keep the player. You got to throw them back on the field. <laughs> but that could happen to you. So the closer you are to the action, the more your opportunity to catch a ball or a fan or, or a player. So, the, I mean, it, it is really an immersive, if you will, experience for the fans because oh, yes. they're almost part of the game, right? They are definitely part of the game. And after the games, you get to come on the field, get to get autographs from the players, uh, the cheerleaders, shake hands, take pictures, something that you don't get when you go to an NFL game. So it's something that once you come one time, you will definitely be back. Okay, so first game in town since way back last year, for, yes. and there's a lot more going on yes. before and after the game, right? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, we have a new ownership in John Wayne. Uh, those guys are wonderful. You know, they've been first class since they joined the team, and uh, we're just excited about, you know, the rest of the remaining of the season and uh, what we have to bring, you know, for the city of San Antonio. Okay. Uh, you know, you guys talk about home court advantage. I guess when you really are right there with the fans, mm-hmm it helps to be playing at home, right? Oh, yes. It, it, you know, when you're on the road, you, you don't hear the nicest gestures or you don't hear the nicest <laughs> obscenity. So when you're at home, it's okay. Sometimes you get to, you get to hey, yes, let's go. You know, we get to feel that, that energy. And, we, you know, you pick it back off the fans' energy. You know, when the fans have energy, you go out there and you play a little bit harder. Okay. But also with this game, there's a special, special, special uh, Selena tribute. Oh, really? Yeah. So fans who love Selena and just the music that she brought, there will be a Selena tribute after the game, uh, Amanda Solis, and it's going to be amazing. So you're going to get some fun, family-friendly football with big hits, fast-paced scoring, and you get to have a concert afterwards. Okay. And you got a special on tickets too, right? Oh, yes, the six-pack. So you buy three tickets, you get three free. So. It's no other sport like that, you know, guys. You've got to come out and enjoy the show. And there's also a family four-pack that is going to be online, a giveaway. However, this is not just one of those things where you go online there. Here is the question that you have to answer. Where did the San Antonio Gunslingers play their home games in their first season way back in 1984 when they played in the USFL? You have to submit your answer and then enter to win that family four-pack. And the game is coming up this Saturday, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This Saturday at the Freeman Coliseum. Okay. Excited? I'm excited. Can't Very wait. excited. Can't 2 p.m. Wait. Freeman Coliseum. Tickets start at $20. Again, buy three, get three free, or enter to win that. So, gentlemen, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. By the way, fellow Lions fan right here. For <laughs> yes. yes. Go Lions. Go, go Lions. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Head go down to go down experience all the action. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you so yes, very much. Thanks really appreciate it. Good luck this Saturday. So, again, 2 p.m. at the Freeman Coliseum. $20 tickets. All right. Still ahead on SA Live. After camp, there's fun to the whole family at the zoo. We check out something really special they have this summer. Looking for something fun, kitschy, colorful? Well, there's a big pride event coming up this weekend. We're going to tell you all about that and going to be making some puff puff palm earrings. Say that three times fast. Hey, plus special announcement. Our friends over there at the Animal Defense League have let us know that they are nearly at capacity if the animals they have don't get adopted. So they can save more lives. Today through Sunday, they are waiving all adoption fees. If you have room in your home and in your heart, go out and find a new furry friend and help save a life. More on SA Live is on the way. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it is Pride Month, and why not add a pop of color to your looks? And Kayla Guerrero, owner of great name, Puff Puff Pop. <laughs> You gotta say it really, really quickly, right? Yeah, just puff, puff, puff. Puff, puff, puff. Is here to show us some of the cute and creative accessories and tell us all about a fun pride event that she is hosting this weekend. And the name of the company is almost like an onomatopoeia where it's like, you know exactly what, it's puff, puff, puff. Yeah, it's easy, it rolls off the tongue. <laughs> okay, so we are making some earrings and yes. they're little pom poms, right? Yes, absolutely. So uh, essentially, it's gonna end up looking like this, which is a, a special pride pom pom. It has rainbow colors. Mm-hmm. So we're going to take one of every color of the rainbow um, type yarn okay. and then we're going to go ahead and lay that out. And we're talking about about 12 feet of yarn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, how do I get started? Just wrap it around my finger? Yeah, absolutely. So what you're going to do, the probably the fastest and easiest way to take your three fingers and go ahead and just oh, start wrapping three, around. Okay. Yeah. And just keep going and just... Yes, exactly. 
All right. And then essentially what we're going to do is once you have that, it's going to turn into kind of this, like a little, just a little puff. Mm -hmm. We're going to tie around it and then we're going to trim it. Okay, so That's keep it. That's perfect. Yeah, you can go ahead and keep it together like that. And then you tie around it like I'll that. And then I'll go ahead and take this and tie it. Okay, and you make all of these things and some of these earrings, those real fuzzy ones, are really, really cute looking. You make them all yourself, Thank right? Thank you, I do. I make everything by hand. Mm -hmm. um, and it takes one to three hours per pair. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. No, no, you didn't give me. Um, one to three hours per pair for the more intricate designs and the faster one maybe up to an hour. Okay, so tell us about the event you got coming up this weekend. So we have uh, Gay and Spooky on mm -hmm. uh, some Sunday, June 12th, and it's from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, we are going to have San Antonio's number one alternative drag queen coming and performing. Uh, we have local vendors and businesses that are going to be coming out. Um, they're going to be selling some goods. We have um, Berkshire Bathory. They have um, candles. They smell so good. Uh, we have Treat Slingers. They have 100% um, vegan treats. This is their cake jar. It's the Pride cake jar and it has vanilla and buttercream in it. So that's um, just all cake in a jar like it that. It is and it's so, so good. <laughs> then we also have Ruby Czar. She makes um, tiles and they're usually San Antonio based and themed. Mm -hmm. And then we also have So Golden who makes resin pieces. Those are some pieces that they made for the Star Lighter, which is the venue that we own. Mm -hmm. And then we also have two other earring makers up on here. We have August Rivers. She makes those really cute mushrooms. And then below that, we have Robin Made This, and she also makes clay earrings as well. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And also, we wanted to point out, this could double as a pillow. It is a, a handbag, though. <laughs> it but is. This thing's great. And you said it's machine washable, too. So it oh. is. So at this big the event coming up Sunday, all of this is going to be there, right? Yes, absolutely. All, all of that plus pants, I'm sorry, plants from Jolly Pot Plants as well, all different kinds. Um, we're going to have a food truck, mimosas with entry. It's going to be great. Wonderful. <laughs> and now speaking of the, the different color earrings, yes. if you do custom make things, so if somebody has specific, um, you know, your high school colors or college or something like that, you can do things custom, right? Absolutely. I can make custom anything, shaped palms. I have some lava lamps, some clouds. Um, I do pet palms also. Okay. So people commission their pets for me. So it's really fun. <laughs> all right. Well, check it on all out this Sunday. Don't forget the Gay and Spooky event is coming up this weekend, the 12th on Sunday from 1 to 6 p.m. at the Starlighter over there on Fredericksburg Road. Yes. going to be lots of local vendors, food, mimosas. And for more information, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Kayla, thank Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. All right, next on SA Live, the zoo has something new for summer, how they are going to be taking you on a deep sea adventure like never before. Fiona is there. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Well, earlier we told you why the zoo is such a great place for kids and summer camp this summer, but you know, they've got a lot of stuff that the whole family can enjoy. And Fiona's been out there all morning long learning about everything. What's up, Fiona? Oh, uh, yes, we are diving deep here at Deep Sea Adventures at the San Antonio Zoo. And I have next to me Nelson Marcucci, a, a aquarium and life support manager here. And this is the newest experience, interactive experience folks can have. And the whole family can enjoy it, right? So wh what's in this tank and what's on your hand? More so this is our deep sea encounter tank. Over here, we're gonna have animals from all around the world. The first one I am going to demonstrate is one of my most elusive animals my decorated spider crab. Uh, these guys are really interesting. They love to collect stuff from around the aquarium, uh, rocks, sand, that's actually some of his lunch right there, and they'll put it on their skin and then they'll try to camouflage. See, I'll pop him on Ooh, his rock. Look at that, I mean, he blends right in. <laughs> it's effective. If you didn't know any better, once he's all scrunched up, you wouldn't even know. Wow, okay, what else is in here? The next guy I got is my short spine pin cushion. I gotta be really gentle when I remove them from the rocks. Um, but Is that these, why you're also life support manager? Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but these guys are part of the family, echinoderm. Uh, sea urchins and starfish are part of the same family. 
Uh, if you look, you're gonna notice there's a bunch of little tubes he has around his body. He has little tube feet. That's what they use to grab around. The, they grab the rocks, the glass, that's how they move around. Another cool thing they do in the wild and here is they'll actually collect pieces of rubble and they'll hold it onto their shells. Now, if a predator wants to try to get them, they're gonna have to get past all these little pieces of rubble. So it's an extra layer of protection these guys have besides their spikes. So that's where hoarding comes in handy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right. Um, over here, I have my African starfish. These are one of the most popular animals in, at our exhibit. Um, I asked people, do you think this is gonna be hard or soft when they touched it? They are surprised to hear that they're, they're very rough. You wanna go ahead and touch sure. them? Sure, oh my gosh. Oh wow, that is rough. Almost like sandpaper. Yes. Um, underneath, you see he has his little two feet, again, just like the sea urchin. That's what they use to move around. And so when folks come here, I mean, they can really, they can interact with these animals. I mean, they make sure their hands are clean and everything first, right? Yes, as long as your hands are clean, uh, we'll give you a guided tour mm -hmm. of one of my favorite animals. I'm gonna gr pick them up right here very gently. Uh, this is the horseshoe crab. Now wow. these guys, are really special to me. I grew up in New Jersey by the shore and I used to see these guys all the time throughout the summer. Um, so holding these guys on my hand, it's very nostalgic. Um, there are, the best part about this experience is that I do this every day for a living, but the guests who come here to San Antonio Zoo, this is an experience they get. So when they get to touch these animals, when they get to, to feel them moving around in their hands or feel the spines, um, they make connections. There was a kid here uh -huh. a couple days ago who once he had this experience says, I want to be a marine biologist. Um, that is the experience I want every guest to That's have. That's what this is about, <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. so tell folks how they can come out and, and enjoy this experience. Well, you can always go to the sanantoniozoo.org website. You can uh, buy your tickets online and you can come here and enjoy this free experience. Okay, because it's part of it, right? <laughs> it's part of the ticketing, Okay, yes. we've got about 30 seconds left. Give us one more in, uh, in the tank right in front of us. Uh, these are my scarlet hermit crabs. Um, they just love to live in their shells. They're, they're real crabby sometimes. So <laughs> as I'm holding them, sometimes they'll give me a pinch to let me know, hey, I'm done here. And then we have our cleaner shrimp. Um, these guys set up little cleaning stations around the ocean, right? Right now, my assistant Gloria is sticking her hand in the tank, and the shrimp is giving her a little manicure. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, thank you so much, Nelson. For more information on the San Antonio Zoo and all the fun you can have here in the summer, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Mike? Very, very cool. I bet kids would just, just soak that all up. That's fantastic. Right? Thank you very much, Fiona. Appreciate it. Head on out there. Oh, kids would love that. And the adults, too. Next on SA Live, from snacks to cocktails, even some things stylish, we've got a great roundup of Father's Day gift ideas from local shops where you can get these perfect gifts. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, looking for that perfect gift for the dad in your life? You better be. <laughs> <laughs> Local shops have tons of great items that you can't find anywhere else. And here are some really, really neat, one-of-a-kind things. Stephanie Pena Frost from The Princess and the Monkey. Good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. to see you. Yeah. Okay, what have you got for me? So and these, all the are, these are all great local gift ideas for dad. And it's so hard to shop for men. I have a hard time, the hardest time shopping for my husband. So these are all things that I've seen that have been popular at markets that I see men gravitating to. So I pulled them for y'all today. Okay. One is this uh, recycled uh, license plate sign. This is from me, one of my creations. So it's a great way. So if you have some old old license plates that you want to repurpose, I can customize something like this for you, for your dad. And who doesn't save your old license plates? We all do. We all do. Definitely. We do. Definitely. Okay. I do. I have them all. And then uh, we have a cute little um, gnome, fishing gnome if your dad's into fishing. So those have been extremely popular. Just something fun and cute. And men love that kind of stuff, surprisingly. Speaking of love, I yes. know that you love looking for stuff like this. Yes, yes. Like goods. this next item. Classic, I mean, they last a lifetime. Last a lifetime, and these are all handmade by a local artisan here in San Antonio. And this is her business satchel. And it's it's a perfect size for a laptop, and on the inside it has different pockets, and it has different things for you to put all of your business things in. It's a, it's a shoulder strap, but it also turns into a backpack too, so you could wear it either way. And then some great little, um, 
desktop or you know side table goods for your rings, for your for your bracelet, for your bracelet, for your watches. And also, you said that it can be monogrammed. You this, if custom, you custom right? order it, okay. it can be monogrammed, and she could do really whatever you like and make it custom for your dad. I love that. Hand crafted. Yes. Cocktails, okay. and then what do you smell that salt? Oh, out the there salts too. are yeah. the best. So this is a old-fashioned kit from Assemble Cocktails and Bernie, and she's working with a, another woman called Amazing Grays, and so she's done the uh, cocktail cherries and the sweet and sour nuts, and they put it together, and it's everything you need except for the whiskey to make the old-fashioned, including the sugar cubes, the different types of bitters, the muddle, the, the little jigger, so everything is already there for you. So all you have to do is just get it, get your dad's favorite whiskey, bourbon, and okay. there you go. She has it all there for you. And then the next thing is the Texas Salt Company. Okay, this is a Love whole these different guys. you know context of smelling salts because when you smell these, yeah. I mean, they it's, are incredible. You walk in here, and that's the first thing you smell are these salts. And even when they're sealed, you smell them like there's no tomorrow. They're the best things ever. And I took the cowboy salt and the jalapeno salt, and I put it on some white popcorn, so you could just taste it. But to put it on freshly grilled meats, it's gonna just bring that flavor oh, out wow. and pop it yeah. and make it so much richer and. So so much better you just need a little bit yeah you could do a steak on a, the griddle in the house yes. and then put that salt on there and it's gonna mm -hmm. taste like you and it's it right gonna taste grill. just yeah. like you pulled it off the grill it's a perfect thing great for dads of course who doesn't want a tumbler we have some great three-in-ones so you could do bottle can everything and they're all so much fun and then we have the popcorn and the cookies this is also another mom and mom and daughter duo the mom mm -hmm. makes the popcorn the daughter makes the cookies crave cookies and they're really great popcorn. It's very uniquely flavored. It doesn't taste, um, oh, it doesn't taste um, chemically. It doesn't, it, it's all like natural. It's all real. The cheddar is very, a uh, good rich flavor. Yes. What's that? <laughs> a good rich flavor. A yes. good rich flavors. Mm -hmm. This one. This one. Right right here. It's the spicy. Cheddar. It has enough spice so that way you can smell it, but it's not too spicy on your palate. And uh, the churro is so good. It has a, a great sweet taste. If you're not a big kettle corn, but you want something sweet, it's a great alternative to that. Mm -hmm. and all local. Mm -hmm. All local. So mm. uh, you can churro. find them at. Um, the the Green Market Days to the um, to Garden Ridge Farmers Ooh. Markets as well. A lot of them you can find online because a lot of these things it's hard to do outside markets right now with the heat. So a lot of them are also online. So order online, pick up, they ship, all of the good things. And like your that. website has all you need my to website, know. all of that, and um, yeah, you can find where I'm going to be next. All right, all right. Yeah, thank you thanks. so much, Stephanie Pena Frost from Princess and the Monkey. For more information on her and all these gifts. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, we chill out with artisanal ice cream from a local shop that's got all the desserts and drinks you need to survive this heat wave. Plus, summer sweets from a San Antonio preppery with a touch of Paris flair. That's all tomorrow, 1 p.m., right here on SA Live. They are cute, but which is more cuddly? A possum or a raccoon? I don't know, all those teeth kind of get you on that, that possum there. Uh, Kelly says she would rather cuddle with a raccoon. Uh, neither, <laughs> Lisa Ann. <laughs> See, look at that little face there. Isn't that from Elf, I think, Des? And, <laughs> no, I'd rather cuddle with my ducks. Okay, I like that one. That wasn't one of the choices, though, but the question is, would the possum or the, the opossum or the raccoon cuddle with you? If you see one in the yard, don't try and cuddle with it. So anyway, a lot of fun today. Don't forget about the Gunslingers game on Saturday. We will see you back here tomorrow with some really good stuff. Okay, take care. Stay cool.